Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Salesforce Space Station. In today's episode, Lawson's gonna walk you through the ins and outs of Salesforce queues. Enjoy. Salesforce Space Station. Hi, and welcome. Today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about Salesforce queues. So you might ask what uh, Salesforce queues are, and they're really just a way to group records that don't have a specific owner. Um, you'll see here there's a particular lead, uh, and this here is uh, where the lead is assigned to the Melbourne Leads queue. So uh, what we've got here is um, users who've got access to the queue can actually then view the record within the queue. So anyone who's got access to the Melbourne Leads can view this record. And then what they can do is then take ownership um, of the particular lead um, to show that they're then working on the uh, record itself. So um, how is this useful? Uh, so what queues can actually do is help prioritize records uh, and help distribute them when you're really trying to work within a team. Uh, it's particularly useful when um, there's a, a level of triage that needs to be done on the queue before work can begin. So uh, what you might have is a, a web to lead process where um, leads are generated from online, um, but it's not particularly clear as to which team needs to be allocated to, I guess, um, work on the lead. Um, so what you can have is the lead can be assigned to a queue and then um, the appropriate user can then review the record while it's, uh, while it's um, I guess, in the queue and then um, manually assign ownership to the right team or to another queue uh, that is appropriate. So um, leads are available in objects and are commonly used in objects such as cases and, and leads and tasks. Um, and they can be really powerful when they're paired with list views. Um, uh, that way it kind of makes it really easy to use. So you'll see here, um, there's a, for example, a Melbourne queue and a Perth queue, um, as well as a web leads queue. Um, and then the criteria can be based on um, owner, uh, which is the Melbourne queue in this scenario. Um, so yeah, I mean, I went through a scenario before, uh, you might have a web to lead, you might have a, a form, you might have a web to lead form, and then on it, you might have a question that says which state you're from. Uh, and then from there, a, um, I guess the prospect can, um, can then uh, decide, uh, can click on the state that they're from, and then uh, using, I guess, lead assignment rules or, um, or automation such as flow, um, you can then have it automatically assign to the appropriate queue uh, and uh, begin your work. Uh, so I hope this kind of brief video gives you a little bit of an insight around queues uh, and its potential use and how it can be useful for you. Um, so have a look at some documentation. There's plenty of uh, plenty of online material and uh, in trailheads that can assist with this. Um, definitely something that's worth spending some time on. Thank you. Hey guys, please don't forget to like, comment or subscribe to the channel if you like it. Uh, also, please don't forget to go ahead and share this with uh, anyone that you think might benefit from it, especially all those brand new up and coming Salesforce gurus. And as always, you can find some more episodes right here.